is the holiday season. It's like my favorite time of year. It's getting colder, not too you keen know, on the days getting shorter, but you know, you can feel it in the air. It's amazing and it just brings a lot of people joy, but it can also bring a lot of people of stress and and just kind of oh anxiety big time. And it has to do a lot about this time of year and food and treats. And how do you navigate this time of year without gaining weight? The average American is going to gain usually between somewhere to five to 15 pounds during this next or these next six weeks. And that's a lot. That is a lot. And a lot of people say, you know what? Oh, well, January 1st, I am just going to enjoy the holidays and January 1st. But at the same time, that's stressing you out. The same time, you don't want to go backwards. You want to move forwards. So how can you do that? Instead of dieting, maybe starving, setting yourself up for a binge, how about this year we do it? with a little bit of smarts, with a little bit of common sense, and really always going back to the basics. So how can you manage going through the holidays, enjoying the holidays? Because I'll be honest, my grandma's sugar cookies are amazing. And even though she's not here anymore, I still make them. And if you want that recipe, reach out to me, I'll give it to you. But they're just amazing. And I love them. And it's not something that I'm willing to get rid of for the holidays. It's something I look forward to every year. I look forward to baking them. I look forward to giving them away. And I look forward to eating them because they're really good with a cup of coffee. They really are good. So how can you do this? How can you navigate the parties? How can you navigate all the things, the stress, the anxiety, all the cookies, the candies, your favorites? How do you navigate this? And come out ahead this year instead of eight steps backwards. Let's dive in. Right? That's just the easiest thing is to do. Dive in. Okay. So first, what you're going to do is you are going to make sure that every day you are showing up for yourself in some kind of movement. 30 minutes a day, working out, moving your body. Now, we can never out train a bad diet. But I want you to get in the habit of moving your body 30 minutes continuously. If you are already working out, don't stop now and think that you can go and wait until January. No, you got to keep that going. 30 minutes, just move your body 30 minutes a day. That's number one. Number two is hydrate. Make sure you are getting enough water. Not Diet Coke, Diet Mountain Dew, Pop, you know, you know the drill, alcohol. (laughs) Just make sure that you are hydrating and getting water. That's number two. Number three is that I want you to eat. Yes, you heard that right. I want you to eat. I want you to eat your regular food, your, I want to say your whole food. So if you're just getting into nutrition, I want you to be as nutritious as possible. And here's why. I want you not to set yourself up to binge on the weekends. Because if you are not eating Monday through Thursday, because you're like, I was bad on the weekend. I'm just going to bring it all back and I'm going to not eat. You're going to set yourself up for another binge on the weekend. So if you are eating normal, and I want you to think protein, fat, and carbs at every single meal, then you're going to keep your blood sugar balanced. You're not going to want those. You're not going to have those cravings, those binging. So when you decide to go to a party or if there's a potluck, you will make the best decision of what you want, not just out of being raging, starvation, hungry. Does that make sense? So if you're fueling your body, And, you know, when you're starving, you're going to grab everything, the cookies, the candy, everything looks good. 
But if you're fueling your body and not saving for a big event, you're going to make better choices. You may only want just a little sliver instead of the whole thing. It's going to help you prevent the binge and prevent having that remorse afterwards, because we definitely don't want that. So one is to make sure you're moving. Two is hydration. Three is to eat and eat your real food. Not the process, eat the real food. Number four is, yes, sleep. You need the sleep. And I know it's like parties and the kids got this and oh my gosh, and I, I got to do laundry and I got to do this and I don't get to bed until midnight and then I got to get up at three or four or whatever time you get up. No, you need sleep. You got to prioritize sleep because when you don't sleep, hello cortisol, and that also is going to cause you to want more sweets. It's going to cause you to want more of the stuff that you're trying to ration or make better decisions about. So sleep, 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 sleep. So important. Don't let it go during this holiday season. So you are going to move your body. You're going to hydrate. You're going to eat real food and you're going to sleep. And that is going to set you up for success for this holiday season. So that when January comes, you're already ahead of the game. You're already a step ahead. And if you are like, hey, I need some good recipes for this holiday season and I need some healthy recipes and I need some ideas. Well, I got you. I do. I want to start you out during the holidays with success. You can have a yummy, tasty, healthy holiday. Yeah. So comment below, like and share this video and tell me in the comments, that you want the holiday guide, that you want the five-day holiday guide that will get you started, that will give you some great tips, some great yummy recipes. And hey, you're already ahead of January 1st. Happy holidays. I'll see you guys next time.